Hey there, my name is Ryan Cole, and at first glance you'd probably think I'm a typical average everyday Seattle yuppie. And yeah, up till a couple months ago you'd be right, but these days things are a little different. These days, I got a bit of a problem. You see, it all started when I took a vacation cruise in the Amazon, one of those adventure travel things, and I sort of accidentally got shot with a couple poison blowgun darts, so to tell the truth, well, strictly speaking, I'm dead. But that isn't the problem, because a local witch doctor put me back together again with a little voodoo or whatever they call it in the Amazon, and except to get my soul to stick inside my body. He had to throw a wild jungle spirit in there with me, and every night he likes to take over, and I transform into this ferocious kind of mischievous creature and go banging around the Asian ghetto in downtown Seattle knocking little punk gangsters' heads together. But I'm all right with that, too. I mean, yeah, it's kind of annoying that the devil monkey, um, that's what the tabloids and the internet bloggers are calling me, or the transform me, you, whatever, you can figure it out. Anyway, the devil monkey's managed to snag a spot in the local pop culture somewhere in between Batman and the Chupacabra, and on the spirit world side, which I happen to have a window into now, thanks to my semi-dead status, it's even worse. Over there, I'm a celebrity, like a goddamn rock star or something. So everywhere I go, some disembodied nutcase is following me around, fawning over me like he wants my fucking autograph. I mean, picture this. I'm in a tapas bar on a Wednesday night, munching on Thai's pot stickers and black and mahi-mahi soft tacos, sipping a microbrew, trying my best to fit into the social scene. And off my left elbow, here's some phantom goofball looking like a refugee from a Dr. Seuss book, yapping on like a starstruck fanboy. Completely invisible, not to mention inaudible, to everybody but me. Well, meanwhile, down by the docks, there's an old Indian medicine man who's conjured up a giant magical beast. Yeah, I know, I said the M word. It's for real, shut up. With the harebrained idea, he's going to exterminate all the so-called foreign invaders like so many termites and restore Seattle and the entire Pacific Northwest to his native people so they can go prancing around in buckskin underwear, spearing salmon out of the streams and hunting bears with sharpened stones just like in the good old days. And half the spirit world is pushing me into a grudge match with this clown because, I don't know, they think we belong to the same fraternity or something. None of that bothers me so much. The real problem is, my girlfriend Deb wants to have a serious talk with me about our relationship. And to avoid that, believe me, I'll gladly do battle with any number of street punks, gangsters, spooks, or giant monsters. So I guess somehow I'll have to get a grip on myself, uh, as well as that rambunctious bastard rattling around inside me. The time to save my girl, save Seattle, and save the world. And hopefully I can do it without her finding out what kind of a freak her boyfriend turns into when the lights go out. Hey, shut up, I said. Uh, anyway, you can read all about how it all turns out. Yeah, I said read, like in a book. Not gonna draw any pictures. You want comics? Go pick up the Sunday funnies, you jackass. Christ. I was perfectly happy just being another run-of-the-mill average everyday yuppie. Never expected I'd have to start acting like a fucking grown-up.